Ooh boy, node drama, everyone's favorite. The story and the history of NPM and their attempts to make a more standard packaging solution have been a bit chaotic. Realistically speaking, most devs shouldn't be using NPM directly anymore when we have things like Bun, PNPM, hell, even Yarn. We have a lot of solutions that work better, not just like faster or cooler, but are more reliable for a lot of complex setups like mono repos or using Windows. These types of things aren't things that NPM itself does great. Thankfully, there was a solution built into Node. The solution was called CorePack. The reason CorePack was cool is that it let you specify a package manager and the version of that package manager inside of the project. So I could run CorePack install on five different projects. One uses Yarn, one uses NPM, and the rest all use PNPM, and it would work. And it would install the right version of the package manager and run that. And for that reason, CorePack was awesome. It made hopping between projects, contributing to open source, and generally just contributing to the JS ecosystem significantly easier. In case you've missed my other videos about CorePack, which by the way, you should go watch those, they're good. Getting support for this in Node has been kind of like pulling teeth. There's been a lot of pushback for some good reasons and some not so good reasons. And sadly, we lost. Today, I have to break the really sad news that CorePack is effectively dead because it is being removed from Node. <sighs> I hate this. Huge shout out to socket.dev for writing this article. Sarah wrote this really good article previously about the drama, and I had already filmed a video about it, and her article was so much better that I redid it. And now I have to do a new video because Sarah has a new article in the news is more heartbreaking because Node has started taking steps to remove CorePack from the distribution, aiming to have it removed entirely by the next major release. Following a discussion in the OpenJS Slack, the Node Package Maintenance Working Group members have formalized a plan for eventually removing CorePack. In February, the Node community engaged in a heated debate over a proposal to enable CorePack by default, which was opened in November of 2023. The goal of CorePack by default was to make it so when devs were using Node, they could just CorePack install without having to go configure and set up specific things because CorePack wasn't on. You had to enable it in your Node install. The goal was to make it enabled by default so more projects could start using CorePack by default. So you would pick NPM, but all your commands would use CorePack, and then devs could just clone your project and be good to go. This discussion included the question of whether NPM would be provided through CorePack moving forward, as some contributors hold the opinion that the eventual goal of its integration was to uncouple Node and NPM from each other. In March, Node's TSC, the Technical Steering Committee, confirmed they had no intention to remove NPM from distribution. This is an important note. For those who don't know, NPM isn't a thing you install separately from Node. NPM is part of Node. They come bundled together. They are two different binaries, but when you install Node, it comes with NPM. When you install NPM, it comes with Node. They are meant to come together. But we don't use NPM once we've installed Node. We install a different, better package manager most of the time now. So it's kind of weird that a bad option comes by default and we're excited to swap it out with something better going forward. It's very strange. As such, it seemed like CorePack would allow you to just not include NPM and say we would include CorePack. And if the project that you're working on uses NPM, it would install it. If it uses PNPM, it would install it, etc. This would immediately destroy the adoption of NPM because who needs NPM anymore if CorePack makes it just as easy to use other options? This did come out of potential cost though, and I covered this in the other video, which is that if you just have Node installed and you're using NPM and using everything the stock way, all you have to specify is a Node version, and now your build is reproducible. If I have an old project that uses Node 16 and it uses NPM, I can spin up a box with Node 16 and I can install and run that project totally fine. If we use PNPM, I have to also install PNPM and I also have to make sure it's the right version of PNPM, which is annoying. That said, CorePack made it way easier to do such because you could specify the version and the package manager in the package JSON, and now you can use that as the necessary piece to do a reproducible build. But since there are old projects that don't have that, theoretically, this would be a breaking change. But since they already have to bump node versions, it's not a fucking breaking change. I thought this argument was really, really bad. I'm doing my best to state it in good faith and to steel man it, but I think it's bullshit. Zoltan is the creator of PNPM, and since CorePack is dead, he's working on adding version management to PNPM that doesn't need CorePack anymore. Because right now, he relies on CorePack because we thought CorePack would be the blessed version because it's the standard that's built into Node. But sadly, he has to build it himself now because CorePack isn't going to fix this. I am excited about this because I've had problems where I was using the wrong PNPM version accidentally. And now he'll be fixing that because he has to. It's just annoying that he tried his hardest to build into the standard and his solution won't work anymore because the standard's being deprecated because the Node team changed their minds. Back to this. The TSC delegated the decision regarding CorePack to the package maintainers working group. 
As the discussion evolved, in a PR titled feature, Next Steps for Version Management Progress, the package maintenance working group members have outlined a roadmap that leads to removing core pack from the node distribution in the next major. It's part of achieving the second goal, which is install node and a package manager for a local development environment. And following up on the proposal to revise the downloads page, we propose the following next steps. We should revise the node download page to split apart the operating system's package managers, like Homebrew and Chocolatey, onto their own tab, separate from the node version managers, like NVM and FNM. And the version managers tab should remain the default. This will further nudge users towards a recommendation of installing node in a version managed way. I think they've already started some of this stuff. If you go to the node download page, they overhauled it with the most recent release, where now you pick the node version you want, you pick the OS that you're on, and you pick how you want to install it. You can install it with Brew or other things, See this though? Homebrew is not a node package manager. Ensure it's already installed in your system, yada, yada. Cool they do that, but it's nice that the NVM solution here is the default. And also cool that FNM made it in. FNM is my preferred node version manager. It's just really fast and relatively convenient. And it's more willing to switch node versions for you where NVM, you have to remind it which version you wanna be using. So personally, I prefer FNM. I get why they put NVM first, it's a bit more standard, but it's cool they updated this page to show you how to install things without downloading and installing Node directly. This is the right way to do it. Your Node version should be managed because you don't just wanna be on latest, you wanna have the different versions for your different projects. This is hilarious, Node team. Just use the standard, stop making new things like bun, seconds later. Hey guys, you're not gonna like this. Yeah, yep. More things they specified in this PR. On the downloads page, they should add instructions for installing Yarn and PNPM as package managers to use for a project. These instructions should follow whatever recommendation we receive from those maintainers. Corepack's documentation should be moved out of the Node API docs and into its own website, or accessible as a markdown file in the Corepack repo. Corepack's a separate project from Node, and intermingling its documentation within Node is confusing. We don't do that for NPM, even though we distribute that. And then once all of the above is complete, we should remove Corepack from the Node distribution, starting in the next major release. Users who wish to continue using Corepack can do so via the instructions available on the Node download page or in Corepack stocks. This will reduce the maintenance burden on the Node project and allow Corepack to evolve independently. <sighs> the whole point of Corepack is that it came by default, so we could use it to use whatever we preferred. If it doesn't come by default, it's yet another step that makes no sense. We're installing a thing to install things to install things now. What the fuck? Ugh, I'm upset. The PR has received five approvals, one more than required to get this merged. According to the group's PR merging policy, it must also have no blocking reviews. It's still open though. It is not merged yet, thankfully. You can see the downvotes and upvotes. Do not go downvote bomb this. I'm not even gonna link it in the description. Please don't spam them because I'm making a spicy video. I'm just another guy. I'm probably misrepresenting things here. I'm just giving my opinions as a user of Node and a user of Corepack. I'm upset. It is what it is. I'm sorry. In a surprising turn of events, the discussion around enabling Corepack by default became an important milestone that precipitated this decision. This is really funny. Hard Fist cut an issue trying to push them to enable Corepack by default. And the result of this issue is that they're going to remove it entirely. And it is kind of ironic that our goal of making Corepack more normalized has resulted in Corepack being removed entirely. How we got here is absurd, but we are here. This picture, oh, this was so good. Enable Corepack by default, the dominoes fell, and now we don't get Corepack at all. Thankfully, the PR is receiving pushback. Several commenters on the PR noted the relative popularity of Corepack among experimental features of Node. Marco Ippolito shared data from the latest survey, saying it seems Corepack is pretty popular. See how popular Corepack is compared to a lot of these other features? Like watch mode and ENV files are popular too, but Corepack is within the most popular features out of the experimental set in Node. Others have continued the discussion in previous PR for removing Corepack, which has been in discussion since March. Mateo notably reversed his support for Corepack two months ago due to its support for downloading the package managers from sources that are not NPM. This was upsetting to him, again, for the reproducibility argument, where if you were downloading or requiring a download from PNPM from somewhere else and the other place went down, even if NPM is still up, your builds are now broken. Also, because those other sources aren't controlled by them, theoretically one could be compromised and swapped, and then doing something that seems totally innocent, like installing Node and then in running a project, might result in a compromised service installing a binary on your computer. The alternative that they had proposed was bundling all the major package managers inside of Node to prevent this, which is utter fucking chaos, and he has changed his mind. Those who are happily using Corepack see its removal as a step backwards. 
I've been using PNPM exclusively through Corepack, said a commenter last week. The main reason is that NPM has basically become unusable over the years. It's incredibly slow, often giving confusing error messages, and sometimes just gives wrong, non-deterministic results. Forcing people to use NPM to install the package manager they actually want to use is a terrible step backwards. The previous PR, calling for Corepack's removal, has seen a reactivation of discussion after the Package Maintainers Working Group moved to approve actions on its roadmap. I'll also add my deep disappointment with the sad state of affairs, said Nick Ribal. Lots of people chose not to use NPM for lots of valid reasons. For this crowd, Corepack has been nothing short of a lifeline, which this PR aims to sever. It'll be a terrible regression and it will harm many Node users. It is actively hostile and I wish more people realized that. All very fair and valid points. There are so many reasons to use PNPM, from the monorepo support to the sharing the package cache. So if you have five versions of a project, you don't have to have 5x the NPM, uh, the node modules, like all these things make core pack and make other package managers really valid options. And it doesn't feel like we're getting a happy path out of this. An attempt was made, and after a couple roadblocks were hit, instead of powering through them, we are getting fucked. This is a picture from one of the node maintenance team meetings. You can watch all of these on YouTube. They publish all of them. They're all quickly done Zoom recordings, but they're a useful resource if you're a nerd like me. They also get like 30 views instead of the 30 to 100,000 this video will get. So different world. But if you are on YouTube and you're interested in seeing these meetings for real, you can go find them on YouTube. Over the past two weeks, a strong contingent of Package Maintainers Working Group members have come to this consensus that core pack is better off evolving independently. To understand the decision, it's important to dive deeper into the conversation that led to the consensus. The original core pack goal was to make users' lives easier, but now there's more historical context around how it was added. Core pack did exist prior to being included with Node, and it is technically a separate tool, says Darcy Clark. It didn't have a ton of time in the ecosystem to be baked before it was pulled in, but it did exist, and it does exist separate of Node core. So you can still access it, and in fact, you can get the latest version of it independent from the node distribution. Pulling it out of core, I don't think that prevents anyone from continuing to use core pack. Now that you have to install it separately, it absolutely does. The goal of the default thing, of making it on by default, was to reduce the number of steps before somebody could contribute to a project that had core pack enabled. Now it's two steps instead of one. The goal is to make it zero steps, but it got bumped to one step because you have to enable it with a feature flag. And now it's going to be two steps. You have to install it and then set it up right. Obnoxious. Jordan Harbin noted that with a few rare exceptions, Yarn and Corpac maintainers haven't shown up to the meetings where decisions are being made for the better part of a decade, prioritizing collaboration on GitHub and Twitter. The Yarn people don't get involved in much nowadays. I'm surprised the Corpac guys aren't showing up, but that's sad. I want these people in here to collaborate, said Harband. I want us to share our ideas, and it's pretty difficult to iterate on something where the people running it are underrepresented in these standard arenas. I totally agree. It's sad that they didn't show up. I'm sure there's good reasons for it. I wish we knew that what those were, but it's sad they weren't there. West Todd expressed a similar sentiment in the meeting regarding the working group's willingness to solve the technical issues hindered by the inability to bring important stakeholders to the table. Let's find the actual edges of these technical problems and let's see if we can solve them, said Todd. I really hope we can. The chunk here is them saying that it's hard to make decisions without them in the room. And usually we've just fallen back on, let's call for a vote. Todd left a plan of events on here. They're going to adapt point four into a few additional steps around the stages of changing the recommendations. We'll recommend locking the PR and directing folks to this group for further discussion on the topic to prevent swirling from the ecosystem. Sorry for contributing there. I am sorry, but this is important to talk about. They also need one or more champion from the Corback team to help drive the conversation. If we need to adjust meeting times or discussion forums, we can do that to make it happen. <sighs> this is going to be a fun one. I don't got anything else to say. Once again, huge shout out to the Socket Dev crew for writing this for me. I really appreciate them. If you're not already checking out Socket.dev, you should. They're a great solution for security dependencies, and they also do great coverage of these things. And again, thank you to Sarah for writing this up as quickly as you did. Until next time, make sure you're using Good Package Manager and make sure you're using the right version too, because Corepack's not going to carry us there anymore. Peace, nerds.